Welcome back, Hordlings, to more barbers. Get on with it. Well, we're wearing an amulet of the Harper, so let's go upstairs. See what kind of trouble we can... Do as I bid. Uh-oh. You bear the mask of one and the same. Here you are welcome, and may rest in safety. Ask as you will to wish to know, and the guardians will answer as best as they can. We have seen much and know the old songs. The first sign signing can be forgotten. All right. Sorry about that. Got a phone call. Yes. Those do happen in the middle of LPs. Let's see here. There was a thief captured here not long ago. What happened to him? A thief? A thief that the spoils. Harper's soil is forbidden from touching it again until penance given. They are above the soil. They might see it and no loss. As they take flight from law, so we have given flight but nowhere to flee. A gilded cage for a form free to soar, that they might no loss of confinement. No possessions held or worn, a form that carries its own feathered coat, to show that material things come and go, and that some do not need them at all. What manner of creature are you? We are the past, gods, and present. We harp as specters that others would find rest here. What is there here that someone would want to steal? There is a calm here to steal, and in the mistaken view that wealth accompanies peace of mind. The powerful come and go, and in their wake will follow scavengers. How does someone become a hopper? It is said hoppers come from birth. They are merely acknowledged when they join. A taint in the mind that lacks sense, perhaps, but the desire to make things right in the long term. Patience and works of good that can help the balance. These are their own reward, but in time they may foster recognition of the like-minded. There is no membership to seek. There is only your own path to follow. Hop or seek out their own in time. I am out of questions and you are annoying. Solitary but never alone. The, saying, the songs of the past serve to shorten the years of the years. The dare listen and bring memory back of their friends departed. Those who harp are no, truly never alone. Yes. Yes. Hmm. Well, I shall begin stealing from you now. Thank you. No, no. Boring, boring, boring. Lug lug, I'm going to throw that fucking sword in the trash can. Shut it up. That's one scroll. Some magical little boats. Throwing daggers off our pussies. Phantom Blade, good spell, good spell. Play note, written in delicate script, it reads, Benavar, do not concern yourself with the thief. If he has accomplices, they will slow show themselves soon. As for the thief himself, the spectral harpist will release him from his curse once they feel he has learned his lesson. If he doesn't, well, we can always hope he acquires a taste of birds here. Yeah? Very good. For those that have done this quest before, Everything is not as it seems, but it does appear that the Harpers are alluding to the idea that Montaran has been turned into a bird. The question is, has he really? If that is what you want.
Free experience. Doesn't even matter if they're empty. Just got 6,000 experience for nothing. There's a trapped one. Is this a joke? You see a small bird flying through the branches of the aviary. You could catch it if you wish. Corgan, I'm interested in whether your clan has ever had interaction with House de Vere. It seems to me, if memory serves, that our sphere of influence was quite close to your blood axe clan stronghold near Tawa Tawthalara Wernzithala Haroloth. I need to practice my drow. Nay, speak that vile tongue to me, black skin. If it moves, I've killed it for the bit the drow. I've tortured it for days first. As for that house of yours, I burned it and relieved myself of the embers and dead. And the necklace of dark elf ears fetches me king's ransom in water deep. Oh, those two are best friends. Leave it to me. I want you to grab that fucking bird, like I told you. I am controlled by no one. Catching the bird is surprisingly easy. When you reach for it, the bird flies straight into your hand and sits there calmly. And gives you 20,000 experience, too. It's a fucking friendly bird. And then you steal three gold pieces from the bucket. Look at this pretty bird. From what the spectral harpers have said, you gather the bird was once Paul Monteron. This would be what Zal's looking for. Yeah, well, we shall see, Shackley. Fear not. I'm watching your back. She's getting to the point where she just has too much shit also. Very good. Make up you will feel my wrath. Lots of darts. What do you want? Go to the third floor. Let's gather your party before venturing forth. The roof! The roof! I am controlled by no one. The roof is not on fire. It's fucking raining. The Link Side Gym. Alright, doesn't seem to be a whole lot here. Let's return to Zar and give him his fucking bird. You will feel my wrath. The 
the back, are you? It's safe for me to assume that you've succeeded in your mission, or am I merely subject to a grueling social call? I found out what happened to him, yes! He was turned into a bird, which I have with me right here. Finally, Martron will be returned to my side. This is excellent news, especially since some fools broke into my laboratory and slaughtered all my creations. They killed both my apprentices too, it seems. I'll put the work, my work behind, interminably. How excruciatingly annoying! Before I reward you, I'll polymorph Marty into his proper form, just to make sure you're not lying. Monty must have something interesting to say. Your, 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 your voice is ambrosial. What in the? You're not a Monteron. And so the fool dies. Lucette. Hand death will come on wings of stone. Song, a song of long and winded guile. And in the end, your end I win. And in the end, a harp will smile. What? I demand to know what's happened here. A blade in his hide should answer you well enough. Here I did strike at a defenseless heart with a poison magical. I have no quarrel with you. We made the path difficult but not unknowable. And in the end, this fool did perish as well he should. What was this crime? What is the reasoning for this murder? Did you not think him strange? He was spying on the harpers, an act that should make you question his lives. You may not have known what he was, but we did. A necromancer in the service of Zentero, creating abominations for sale to the highest bidder, far from their normal range, but not an unexpected enemy. He could not lay low with such flamboyant manner, and we knew him quickly. He merely helped an inevitable, and so you are free. You served well, if unknowingly, and your agreement to help him is forgotten. The amulet is worth it. The blessed bear only copper pins. Be gone, and hopefully your next dealings with the hoppers will be more pleasant. Show you pleasant bitch. Get your pleasant trees right here. It is done. You want long time. Sure. Must take a very driven man to lead his life always on the road. Here we go. That is the type of man I am. Yes, I notice the type of man that you are. Intense, determined, strong. All the qualities that I have grown to like in the most common youth exist in you. Common youth? Bitch, get that drow language away from me. Does Combluth mean outsiders? I thought you didn't like the qualities of non drow True for the most part, but I look upon you and I see a great drive and determination. This is something that elven folk do not possess. Our long lives are static. We feel no urgency. Despite appearance, we become complacent. If the drow had your drive, it would be a second age of conquest. I'm so glad that you approve! It is unfortunate that good traits of the most com of most Combluth are held in pale little lives no longer than a fireflies. Here and there they flicker, and then a sad death. <laughs> there you go, being a bitch again! Speaking to you is like addressing the open air at times, Iblith. If you used to be moronic, then so be it. As I thought. Yes, you get to call Vakoni a bitch, and she likes it. If that is what you want. Is this a joke? Break them off. 
Let's not forget to search Zara's body now. You will feel my wrath. This be paid well for this. Races of AC6. Those are definitely better than 8. That will bring Ronstock down to 2 armor class. And a Staff Steer plus 2. Sell it. Sell that shit. can get back into the Harper hideout. I don't know if it has to be a different time. Pretty sure that you can find Montron's body in a chest. Uh, nothing like finding a magical axe. In a random box. Good to sell. I am controlled by no one. Right, let's go take a rest of the Sea Bounty Tavern. like cloud kill the nice thing about cloud kill is it stacks so you can cast multiple cloud kills in a room and it will fuck shit up phantom blade acts as a magical sword plus three in terms of hidden damage as well as type of creatures however due to its etheric nature it can cause extra plus 10 damage to undead creatures so it can only be used by the caster and remains in his hand The caster wields the Phantom Blade as if, as if proficient with it at his normal Thacko. That's pretty cool. Don't know if I'll use it much. So we got Lesser Earth Elemental, Lesser Air Elemental. Protection from normal weapons is cool. Spell Lord. Spell Immunity. It's also good before you're going into battles against mages. Domination can be fun. Oracle. Oh, 
Well, you can never have too many fireballs. <laughs> never, never. You will feel my wrath. Nothing like some time ashore. All I need is some frog and a good last. Resign with it. Every day when the Dunk Corp extends a bit of hospitality to his guests, come, enter and be welcome at the sea's bounty. And don't be minding the hook here. It'd be a little present from the seafaring days. I take it your name is Thumb. It'd be more proper to be calling me The Thumb. Thumb alone just don't be sounding right. Named after the hook here, naturally. Let's me guess. You were a pirate captain once. The Thumb were near a pirate. Sailed the exotic merchant routes in the west. Retired here after I met the wee Bessie now mounted on me bid. I'd like a drink. Wouldn't we all need? I'd be having the finest sorts of meat and ale, and if I end up having a toss you in a room upstairs, it costs you extra. We'll take the royal suite. After we get a little drink, drink. Elminster's beer, please. Officer Dearth. Move, you wench! I'm waiting for someone. Well, he's a dickhead. No trouble out of you. Move along now. I'm waiting for someone. I don't need them scared off. And what if I don't want to leave? I said you had to leave the bar, just don't bother me. Plenty of room for everyone. Interesting. And lock too. I can do that. Uh as you wish. I'll be leaving. And coming back with more people. Hey, yeah. What? Some loud has discovered our hideout here, has he? Blast! I paid that bloody thumb good money for secrecy. Kill the bloody spy, mate. I've no word of this leaking out. You way-faced cur. Uh, hold still. <laughs> More oh, this. A scum breaker. Yeah. Let's see what your I'll guts be looking you like. The Look at the Gibbs. They everywhere. This better be worth Mudlug's time. As I thought.
All right, well, hopefully uh, I didn't piss off too many people outside. Is this a joke? I am controlled by no one. You will feel my wrath. I've had no formal education. Well, shit, looks like I'm locked out. Well, I think we'll get out of Dodge for a little bit. We'll travel to the Umar Hills. and must defend yourself. Well, no shit. I'm always waylaid by enemies. Trouble now, mage. Are we the want me to do what? Huh? Stop poking me. This crisis gonna be solved, eh? Aye, me and mine need to get back to herding, we do. For the wolves have gobbled me flock entire. Um, calm down, everyone, please. I assure you that everything that can be done is being done. And what is that? Aye, you just hired a group of those adventures, didn't you? Where in the abyss are they? Well, then, come back, you know. Oh, we're doomed! We're fucking doomed! Game fucking over, man! We must flee before people go missing. Now, now, people, come. This is no time to panic. Please, listen to my husband. <laughs> yes, well, we're looking for another group of adventurers here to handle the situation. To kill an Amogus, an evil king, you mean? Yes, ever since that pond of monsters moved into the air, we've had nothing but trouble. They're eating people, that's what. You have all daft. It's the wolves that's been wandering the hills, sure enough. Hungry they is. It's not wolves, you fool. It's Umar herself. Return to haunt us and steal her children. 
Oh, Ma, don't be telling that folk tale now. Can't you see that it's all this plain as the truth? People, please. We must first find out what hap happened to our ranger, Morella, and then track down the source of these murders. More adventures will come soon. Well, they can't come soon enough. You must be doing something, Mayor. Oh, we need to be fleeing the city for our safety. I'm trying to do something. I just... Everyone remain calm. Panic will not help. I... I'm going to return to my home now. Everyone go home, please. Guess we can't talk to him yet. What is it you want, stranger? Just what is going on in this village anyways? I'll tell you what's going on, my lord. The wolves have been in the hills these past years. They're coming at us, they are. For weeks now they've been preying on us, sneaking into the village at night and tearing people apart. Then their bodies disappear the next night. It's a gruesome sight to be seen. I've seen them too. These wolves look at me from afar with smarts in their eyes. It's the truth. The rest of the village is full of fools. Them ogres. I've seen them. And they ain't so bad. And doing all stuff is nothing but a lot of nonsense. Has nothing been done to hunt down these wolves? Bloody mayor hired a halfling runt in our troop to find out what's been happening. They haven't come back. Wolves ripped them apart, is my guess. Why would wolves come back to take away dead bodies a day later? Don't rightly know. Ain't nothing natural, that's for sure. They seem to be just up and vanish as far as I can tell. What do you know about the ogres? They used to belong to a big rebel army down in the south of Orm. Deserters, likely. Seen them on the patrols. Don't look like they're up to anything. Led by a big ogre fella, Madulf, I think. Wants to be left alone. The fact that he'd talk first rather than kills you makes him not the worst sort in my books. What about this Umar? Just a lot of bullshit is all. You to also know about Umar go talk to Vincenzo at the end. He loves to talk out his ass, he does. I'll be going. On your way then, stranger. We don't need any more trouble here, that's for certain. 